Dear Pastor Bob, I play guitar in my church's worship band. We were discussing the altar calls at our services and the lack of people coming up for prayer and salvation. Our worship leader suggested planting someone to come up and model this to make people more comfortable. This has been really disturbing to me. This is something that I feel the Holy Spirit should prompt and not a plant. Any suggestions on how I should handle this if it happens? You know, I, I can't believe sometimes the lengths we go through to do the altar call. I remember when I was growing up going to church camp every year and mysteriously the electricity would go off right about the altar call time when they would light candles and set the mood and the piano is playing and people would flock up. Most of them are not following the Lord today. You know, we should learn something from this, I think. And I know there are a lot of people that do altar calls and I've done them too and I might again. God prompts me to. But I think we miss the point sometimes and the point is that it's not really about me and the congregation, it's about me and Jesus. Sometimes when people say, I want to receive the Lord, I tell them, you know, go home. Go in your bedroom, shut the door, you and God. Get on your knees, ask him to come into your heart and establish your relationship with him personally. I love that. And I think that's really the way that it should be done. Most people that respond to an altar call don't stick with it. When you see revivals, so to speak, on TV or these big crusades, and you see all these people coming forward to receive the Lord, studies show that about 2 to 3% of them actually follow the Lord from there. Billy Graham had the highest rate. His was 7%. 7% of the people that came forward were serving the Lord, you know, years later. That means that 93% were not. Are altar calls effective? Well, I guess for 7%. But then you have to wonder how many of those people would have done that on their own. I just think we have methods that are not necessarily scriptural. Altar, call, uh, altar calls are not in the Bible. But I think it has to be a personal thing. And when you feel like you have to plant someone to get it started, uh, that's just scary to me. So I think it's something to think about. If we are modeling our lives for Jesus Christ, then there ought to be somebody in the church who maybe has invited this person to come or who is friends with them who can spend time with them and say, this is how you become a Christian. You know, you ask the Lord to come into your heart, and that's even not necessarily biblical, but you ask him to forgive your sins, and you make him Lord of your life. And, you know, that's the whole thing. It's about beginning your walk with God and inviting him to walk with you. And, you know, it's as easy as that, and as complex as, complex as that, it's the, the greatest decision you'll ever make, and sometimes the roughest one, because sometimes what happens after that isn't always easy. People don't understand, family doesn't understand. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things that could be difficult. But the bottom line is this, I think it's a great idea to receive the Lord in private and then plug in to the body of Christ immediately. Let them know what you've done and then begin the process of encouraging one another and allowing them to encourage you. Get in a place where you can grow and mature and learn the word of God and learn how to live with other Christians and the people around you and learn how to Make this relationship that you've started blossom and grow into something fantastic. That's really what it's all about. And that's the core of what the salvation experience is really all about.
God bless you. Have a great day. Thank you.